Today, I'm talking to my great friend, Jerry Keenan. I wanted to ask him what the ICO Christmas fundraising entails, but more importantly, why are we fundraising? We started this scheme over 13, 14 years ago now. I think it's 14 years, right? Yeah. So we've had some kids who've come through the system, right through it. And I think it gives them an extraordinary opportunity, not just to learn music skills. To be honest, the music skills is really a small part of it in lots of ways. It's the skills it gives them in confidence levels, in attention levels, in all sorts of, of social development levels. So that's, that's really what impresses me most about it. Now, we effectively just operate in primary school, okay, which is the lower level school. But any of those that are really developed and want to, we get scholarships for them to study, for instance, the local Limerick School of Music and with some of our, our people in, in ICO. Um, more importantly, we've started an Irish Chamber Orchestra Youth Orchestra. And this really came about from the, the kids that had finished in the scheme themselves. Um, and they wanted something to continue. So it's brilliant. They come of their own volition and also we hold it in ICO and it's open to other people. Again, another opportunity for integration, for exposure to other things. So the big achievement, if you like, and I rang one of our, our principal funders over the years, is, is, is a wonderful man, um, Michael Buckley. And we had our first um, case, is an awful thing to call it, but uh, our first student who's graduated to study music in a third level institution. And honest to God, that just meant the world to us. So I rang him to that and you know what? His answer was so good. He just said, this is what makes everything worthwhile. All the fundraising, and it really did. And, and Sophie, who, who was the girl that did this, came in and she said, do you know what lads? She said, I couldn't have done any of this without you. And to be honest, I had a tear in the eye now, to say the least. So. Our ambition is to keep that going and to keep expanding so the older kids have a place to go. It's absolutely great to hear these success stories. Now, Jerry, I think I can say I've known you for quite a long time and I want to ask you a really personal question. What does this work mean to you, to you, Jerry Keenan, on a really deep down level? What this work means to me is I'll be absolutely straight with you. I came from a very, very ordinary, wonderful background in Walkinstown in Dublin. Um, my father and my mother, my mother kept a home effectively because that's what was done in those days because she had to give up her job when she got married, would you believe? My father worked day and night to keep everything going. And the only reason I got to do music was at the time, there was the VEC, which was the Vocational Educational Committee in Dublin which subvented fees in the College of Music in Chatham Row. So that was the only reason I was able to go there. And I really feel that music education has drifted out of people's reach. And I think it is the saddest thing ever. I genuinely do. So the reason I care so much about this is it gives opportunity, particularly to those who otherwise would not have a chance. And I think it is most important. I think it helps with the entire development of society. I mean. My whole life changed from those music lessons, from getting into a youth orchestra, playing with a band. And I still, all my friends uh, are from that era. And it's, uh, I just think to try and give that to someone else is really, it's the reason I'm at this. And I suppose even if you look at the Irish Chamber Orchestra, I mean, some of them tease me about it, but the likes of Malachi and they were in the youth orchestra, Keen O'Doul, all these people I've known since they were kids, Diane Daly, and it's just, listen, it's fantastic. Diane now runs, she's now Dr. Daly, runs the MA course in classical strings performance at the Irish World Academy of Music and Dance. So I guess it, it's, it's lovely to hear all that, Jerry, because it does kind of come for full circle, doesn't it, really? Totally, totally. I mean, it's all, it's the cycle of life. Yeah. I mean, it sounds really corny, yeah. but I actually believe it. Yeah. So... Let's be more specific. Can you tell me about the online shop and tell me a couple of your favorite things people can buy? Well, the online shop, uh, it's just great because it's something we started and it's just another stream of income, which is fantastic. And it was developed by Joanne, our, our wonderful development manager. And I so what I really, really like, and it's, it's for corporates, I suppose, initially, it's e-cards, 
which are these wonderful animated yeah. cards uh, by Phil Shannon, I think did most of them. Um, I think they're brilliant. Uh, they're very effective. Um, those and I think the Christmas cards, the Christmas cards are designed uh, by a local artist and they're just fantastic. So they're, they're my two, and I mean, if you like, they're the most traditional things, but I just think they're, they're innovative and they're very different. I'm just wondering, how long is the shop going to be open for? Well, the shop is open till the 14th of December for cards. And it's the sixth, I think it's the week before it, yeah, the sixth is for the e-cards. So you've got to get in fairly quickly okay. with the e-cards because that, that deadline is coming. So really encourage anyone that's in any company. They're a gorgeous, gorgeous thing to send to people. And they directly help uh, children learn music. And just before we let you get back to work, Jerry, what are you going to buy me from the online shop? Matthew, you have to go and send me your Santa <laughs> list from the shop. What would I buy you? I'll tell you what I'll buy you now, Matthew. We have these wonderful, <laughs> wonderful Robert Balla limited edition prints. We'd only 78 of them done. Um, we've uh, very few left from last year. We actually did this. It's a joint uh, effort on this case. It's for uh, Parkinson's, uh, research into Parkinson's disease and sing out. And these were, of course, because of... Uh, the wonderful Shay Healy, who sadly left us uh, last year, and he died at 78, hence the 78 prints. So they're just fantastic. So I'm going to get you one of them, Matthew. What do you think of it? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, it's always great to catch up. I'm hoping you can make time for us again on Oboe Winfrey early next year to hear all about what's coming up for the ICO in 2023. And in the meantime, everybody take care, and I will, of course, see you next week. Pleasure, Matthew. Nolikona. The Gok did it.